To date, we've had great luck with the PowerStack 5.0 amp hour battery. We did a drill test. We're testing amp output. We're doing that by the voltage drop, and we're watching how much voltage drops between all the batteries. If you haven't watched that video, I'll put a link in the description. We're gonna step it up today, and we're gonna use this pruning saw. And this pruning saw actually takes quite a bit of voltage away and does have a lot of cutouts if you push it in harder wood. So we're gonna kind of narrow our scope of the batteries. We're gonna start out with the mini power stack and work our way up to the nine amp hour flex volt just to see what happens. Let's really dive into this quickly and get going. So we have the same premise here. We have two wires that are testing the voltage out of the battery. We have the new pruning saw that's out in the PowerStack 1.7 amp hour battery on here. This test is not as easy as with the drill because we can push harder and that's going to test the voltage. So I'm gonna make one cut without pushing and then the second cut I'm gonna probably push a little bit to see what I can get to have happen with the battery. So let's just see how this goes. Kind of surprises me a little to have a cutout here, but we were in the 16s. Let's push it just slightly. Again, cutout in the 16s. Here's the three amp hour battery that comes in the kit. Gotten to the 16s there at the end. A little bit harder push this time. Get another cutout in the 16s. Here's the four amp hour compact battery. Seen some high 16s there. Let's push it a little bit more. Actually seen it into the 15s. Five amp hour XR battery. As we got down, we got into the 16s. Let's push it a little bit. Seen 15 there just before we cut out. Try the power stack. Here we go. Odd cutout. I was seeing 19 volts there. So we, we did get into the 18s. Again, into the 18s, this is the battery we're looking at. Let's push it a little harder. Another cutout, but in the 18s. It tells me the tools actually, the one cutting out on this when we pinch a little bit too much. Again, 18s. Even when I'm pushing in, it's uh, dragging it down a little bit. Still in the 18s. One more, just because I... Eighteen three. It's 
It's doing pretty good. Let's move up. Six amp hour battery. Held 18s, let's push it a little bit. Seventeen when it cut out. Seventeen again when it cut out. This seemed to hold 18s, 17s. I still think the power stack did better than this guy. 8 amp hour and this 8 amp hour is done better than the 6 in most of our testing which is against what some people think but it's just kind of what happens. Let's see what happens here. Held pretty good. Let's push it a little bit. Seventeens when it cut out. Did good holding eighteen there. Seventeens again. Let's move up. All right, the nine amp hour flex volt. Still seen 18s out of this, let's push it. And cut out in the 19s. So here's where I'm really interested in your opinion because while there was a huge voltage difference between the small power stack and the 9 amp hour flex volt, we still saw a lot of cutouts. And those cutouts came anywhere from 16 volts all the way up to 19 volts at the top, which is interesting. That tells me that there's something inside this pruning saw that is having it turn off for some sort of safety feature or anti-kickback feature and whatever it is, whenever this chain got hung up in the black locust a little bit, boom, it was off, didn't really matter what voltage. And that's totally different than what we've seen with the DCD-999 where we could drag that battery down in the 13s and 14s at some cases and just chew it up and really see the difference in power, speed and everything else in that drill test. So. This test, well, it was neat to see the different voltages that it would hold and how well the power stack did hold some higher voltages. We still had a lot of cutouts, which means to me that this tool is more of the thing cutting out rather than the battery. And it's an issue that this tool isn't going to need to take a huge battery in order to do the job. And especially if you stay away from hardwoods like what we were cutting and we're cutting a little bit larger, nothing crazy, but at the same point, a little bit larger hardwoods than maybe what this pruning saw would go through on a daily basis. Either way, somebody else also brought up right tool or right battery for the right tool. We talk about that all the time. Don't use a small battery on a high demand tool. And this five amp hour is going to be borderline as to what we're gonna really say should be used on a high demand tool. You look at a circ saw, would you normally put a five amp hour battery on it? Oh, probably not because you really want the runtime and the power. We're gonna get a ton of power on that circ saw with this, but are we gonna get the runtime? Are we gonna get the heat? We're gonna, do, we're gonna do all that testing, including the voltage. So hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. We'll keep these videos coming as we get things going and rolling. We appreciate your time. Have a great day.